Okay, I have here another one by Chiz Wizard. Chiz Wizard. Uh, what is this one? Nice kick. It is not a nice kick. <laughs> uh, it's a nice challenge, Mark. Um, so I have been playing with this a little bit um, on and off and sort of ran out of time and then been a long video and I don't know, I've probably spent uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes with this thing. Um, so let's give another go and see where we get. Um, Jeez, this lock fucking sucks. What? It's fucking. It's the worst, man.
Oh, thank God. <sighs> Cheers. This was not a nice kick. Not nice. <laughs> um, I think that's got to be about an hour's worth of work put into this one. Nice kick. Cheers, wizard. Um, finally opened. Um, definitely cannibaling in there. Some real something on the back. It's definitely that last pin um, causing the problems. Uh, let's see. What does this look like? How's this going to come off? Is it, are we lucky? Is it going to... Oh, yeah. Just going to... Oh, slide. Yeah. We'll cut on the back. Middle. Uh, I've been picking too long. We'll cut up the front. We'll cut down near the back. I could tell I have said that a million times. I've said this a million times. These three look pretty all right. Um, and it's whatever's going on down the back here that's just definitely a, something. Um, okay, key works. Uh, we've clip on the back. There's my clip cutter. Let's get that down. Um, I made all sorts of kinds of commentary about this thing, but you know, they're like buried in an hour's worth of interesting or not interesting picking. So, I don't know. No one's ever going to hear that. I don't know what I said. So, too bad. <laughs> too bad. It's, um, I need a scotch. Oh, there goes the clip. Ah, uh, scotch and asleep. Long day of work didn't help. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I've spent yeah, probably close to an hour on this lock over a couple of days. Um, sort of played with it for a couple of days and then I got a whole bunch of new stuff turned up. So I ignored it for a little while. And then I thought, like, nah, I'll get back to it. So there we go. Definite overset trap on one. And then two, stand on three, fours. Oh, yeah. Where's my tweezers? Five and two. Six. All right. Definite overset traps there, including a very thin lip one at the back. Um, all right, what do we got here? Nothing on one, nothing on two, threading on three. Uh, we got a nice deep countermilling there on four, which I definitely felt and had to rotate out of a few times. Uh, that one just gives you feedback. Nothing on five, doesn't like to overset, that makes sense. And then six, we've got a, yeah, like a real deep lip there. So, all right, so those are our core mods. Um, shim out. Look at that little smiley face taunting you. He's like, no, I'm fine. I'm just a nice little lot. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Not deranged at all. Uh, all right, we had a like take a driver on one. So, now we need a lot of work to set that one. Two is a double spool. Definitely felt that. Three. Two. Is a oh, rattlesnake. Yeah. That holds up. That was in the uh, separated chamber. Four is a deep spore with a tiny little serration on its tip. That's the one that was getting caught in that milling, but just gave a little bit of uh, feedback. Yeah, uh, we'll go to the other end. Six then is, yep, nice thin whip to really catch in that milling. Deep pulsetta. And a standard. All right. I mean, I certainly picked other locks that I like that. Um, 
I'm not sure entirely why this one was so problematic to get out of. We just. Yeah, just have to think. Yeah, alright, so it sits in, so then a little bit of rotate out of that, and then yeah, your, your deep pulse well set there. Fine. Um, that's the way in front. Let's, uh, we're just oversetting this one a lot. Let's put all the key pins back in. Like, it's not that low. It shouldn't have been a real problem. Especially seem to be. Right, by the way, just this is a useful test anyway. Let's just try with the deep virus. So if we have a bit of pressure there. Um that's testing. Because I mean the pins in this are nice, but like I've def I've picked other locks as nice as that that haven't been this problematic. So yeah, two, three, four, yep. Ah, oh no, that is interesting. Right, see, so we're trying to get this one and it's the pin. See that? Getting stuck. In the counter milling itself, that key pin at the back. So I try and lift it, and oh, and there we go, and it cleared. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Surely that must mean this key must not work very reliably if it does that. Does it? No, perfect. Oh, well, bounce down, but all right. Well, it must just be a way it lifts up on an angle with pick. Uh, it really needs to lift dead straight, and it's perfect. Well, that. That's that's why it was so hard then. Something about the way that milling is done the whole way around means that key pin. Let's look at that pin again. Maybe I should redact all this in, but other people will replicate it. I'll never get anything open. Um, yeah, I guess it's a really thin bit here. And the thin lip at the top of this, coupled with the other one. Mm, nasty combo. Nasty combo. But got it in the end. Nasty kick.